In about five years ago, they did an excavation of the city of Ur. The city is spelled U-R, ancient Babylonia, some parts of Iraq. And they found an ancient city buried about 50 feet under the ground. Bible scholars actually now agree, Jewish study scholars agree, that was the village of Abraham, Babylonia. And they found in that village thousands of idols, small, big, an action figure size, regular size, two liter bottle size, and then like, you know, mega size, and then you have the super mega size, etc. The Bible says they worshipped many idols. The Bible never says he saw the sun, he saw the moon, he saw the star. When they dug these idols, how many idols did they find? What did I say? Thousands. But they only found three idols that were bigger than everybody else. Chapter 6 of the Quran mentions the people of Abraham worshipped the sun, the moon, and a third celestial object. People of this region did indeed worship an astral triad of the sun, the moon, and Venus. Now this knowledge was lost for thousands of years. In light of these facts, how is it possible that the author of the Quran had access to such knowledge? The only available source of information about Abraham would have been the Bible-based stories in circulation. However, the Bible is silent on such details. It merely states that they worshipped other gods. In conclusion, we can see that the Quran has a remarkable insight into past nations. Knowledge of the unseen is not a quality of human beings, but rather the divine.